to section number seven guys we are going to be talking about the advanced cases seen in previous section but now we're going to apply them into a process simulation software now when we're in real life in engineering we do not care that much into how well are we doing this math if we can do it or not we are assumed that we know the process and that we can model it and optimize it and this is what we're going to do first we're going to work with aspen plus in a case we're going to start with dilute case and then we go maybe for the concentrated case and maybe we continue with the multiple component case what we want to do is to learn and see the sizing of the column pressure drops which one is recommended tray column or pack column which tray type which sizing which uh, packing type and so on so we're going to play a lot of with this information also maybe even consider some uh, cost in the implementation and I want to show you that what we learned maybe will seem useless but all these simulations are based on what we learned so you need to know them in order to ensure that you are the engineer in control of the process and not the process simulation in control of it okay so I hope you like this even though you might not have the process simulator I'm using it's very interesting to see how it goes how it changes and essentially I think this enriches the course okay so see you in the next simulations